Namaskara, I am Dr. Harihar Murthy. I am an ENT specialist practicing in Bangalore for about three decades now. The thyroid swelling is a swelling that is seen in the middle of the neck in the lower portion, just below your voice box and just above the collarbones in the midline. This is commonly seen in uh, young ladies and in little girls around the age of puberty and uh, it can proceed even beyond that. It is also seen in people who are hypothyroid wherein there is lowered thyroid functions. People who are low on iodine in the past used to have a lot of this problem and maybe about 40 years back it was a very common feature in people who lived in uh, Himalayan foothills because they were not using iodized sea salt but they were using the rock salt commonly which is low on iodine as a result of which many of these people used to develop lowered thyroid function and the thyroid had to grow in size to accommodate for the lower functions as a result of which it was enlarged. It is commonly seen in young children, in women it's known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. There's an increase in the size of the thyroid and as a result of which you can have this a problem. It is also seen in cold nodules. Sometimes you can have areas of the thyroid which stop functioning but are enlarged in size because of a overactivity they burn out and they become a complete cold area which means it does not produce any thyroid hormones. So this on a scan will show up as an area which is non-functioning and that can be a cause for the thyroid swelling. Sometimes you can also have cysts within the thyroid and they can be a cause of the swelling. Tumors, benign or malignant can be a cause for the swelling up of the thyroid. So there are multiple reasons why the thyroid can swell up and this is something that can cause sometimes respiratory embarrassment because it is sitting right hugging the trachea on three sides. It can cause a compression of the tracheal walls giving rise to respiratory embarrassment. Sometimes it can cause difficulty in swallowing because right behind the trachea is the esophagus and since it is hugging the trachea, it can cause a pressure on the esophagus which is sitting right behind the trachea as a result of which there can be difficulty in swallowing and patients can complain of that as one of the symptoms with the associated thyroid swelling. So looking out for the thyroid, identifying the causes of the thyroid swelling would be paramount in managing the problem.